Hey friends, welcome to my page, <clears throat> DIY Crafts with Jar. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <clears throat> okay, what was that? <laughs> Someone took my voice. What was that? I had a major froggy in my throat. Okay, I think I'm ready. <laughs> All of a sudden my voice was gone. How is everybody? Happy, happy Tuesday. Did I say Friday? Um, happy Tuesday. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, okay, so um, today is launch day. Maybe I'm a little confused with that. <laughs> it's a pig day, too. It's kind of a pig deal. It kind of is. It's kind of a pig deal. So happy Tuesday, whatever day it is. It is not Friday. <laughs> the week can't go by that fast, can it? Can it be the weekend again? Anyways, we're doing we're doing this fun pig transfer. You know I love it. I love the cow one too, but let's do the pig first. I want to do matching ones. So I love this new frame. I love the beaded frame. It's available today. I wanted to be able to show you that. It is um, changeable. So you can chalk on it and you can erase it. You can take you can take out the center part and easily chalk on it. Okay, so we're gonna take it out. Um, because I want to show you it's double-sided now the little hinge things at the back They're a little bit tight, but um, yeah, it's it's doable to get it out <laughs> Like ah! It's a it's a nice tight squeeze in there. Okay, so this just pops out so um, And it and it does fit very tightly in there. So it's white on one side black on the other we're going to I, w I was kind of thinking it might be fun to put buffalo plaid on the back and then put the words in black. Should I do that? Should I do that? You guys, tell me if I if I should put buffalo plaid on the back with our eggshell. And then the words, the words kind of a pig deal in black. It would show up on there. That would be kind of cute. That's kind of a challenge. And then I have the wood pieces. So I have cutouts. <laughs> I have I have the pig cut out with the glasses, so you'll have to you'll have to help me decide which glasses. There's two different sunglasses. There's stars and there's regular sunglasses. Anyways, um, just say hello when you're coming on. Um, the other the other choice is to just do it in black, and then I was gonna chalk the words in eggshell. So let me know what you think. And then as far as the glasses, I was gonna do the glasses either in red or. In, um, in yellow, <laughs> if, it, if we're gonna do the star one. So let, we could even do gold, I could pull out gold. Let me know what you think. We do have to paint the pig. We're gonna paint it with this pink right here, coral cloud. And then the glasses we have to base coat with white. What do you think, what do you think about that? What do you guys think? Do you think I should do plaid on the back? Wouldn't that be cute? And then on the cow one, I could do the, the background red. I'm kind of thinking I should do that. I have buffalo plaid right over here. Let me grab it and show you. So I was thinking of doing it, so I brought it in just in case. Just in case you guys say yes, because hey, um, farmhouse, farmyard, um, barn, anim barn animals, <laughs> all of the above. Don't they just always scream buffalo plaid? I know it's not available to you guys. I think I, I, think I still have a few, but um, a lot of you guys have buffalo plaid, right? So... Anyways, I am thinking it would be super cute. Won't it be super cute? Should I do it? I should do it. I should do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Anyways, just say hello if you're out there watching. Today is launch day, which means you're going to be able to order this cute transfer plus more. Um, the transfer that I have on my shirt that we did. Um, leave the judge unto Jesus. Yeah, you will be able to order that today too. All right, let me um let me see what you guys are all saying. Maybe you're saying no, no buffalo plaid. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking that if I do the white side, do buffalo plaid. I think that'll be fun. I think it. I think it'd be really fun. I kind of think I want. I want to grunge this up. I think I want to use my my ink pad. <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> I'm a star. <laughs> um, I I'm not, I want to kind of grunge it up with my ink pad. All right. So who who would have guessed? Who guessed? Who guessed that Darlene was going to do the pig? Mm, some, some of you probably. You knew I would probably do farm, farm animals. I love the farm one too, but that's a big, long process. There's a lot of watercoloring in there. I kind of want to try it on my own first. <laughs> and I'm kind of thinking I don't want to do it on the plastic 
um, surface that they have because it just doesn't work as well for me. Um, you know, it just doesn't when I layer it and I, and I um, do everything. Okay. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to do the whole farm um, one with the barn and all that. That's coming. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's coming. Okay, let me see who's here. Let me show this to VIP group. <laughs> I'm so happy to be home and have my normal, my normal little video going and not have to worry about all the connections. Hopefully it's working. Hopefully. There I am. I see myself. <laughs> let me show to VIP. I know. I'm, I am just, I'm crazy. Ah, crazy. Yesterday was a was a very super busy day. I got here and all I did was I came I came inside right away and <clears throat> brought in my my cooler that had my food in it and Sophie. And then immediately started working and worked till late last night. Late last night. Okay, let me go through. I can see people asking for prayers, so let me go through everything. Hi Betty, how are you? Hi Bridget. My glasses have smudges on them. I bet a dog licked them. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, <clears throat> boy, oh boy. My voice might be leaving again. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi, Cheryl. Good morning. Hi, Carrie. Um, hi, Cindy. Oh, thank you. I love my shirt, too. And Cheryl says yes to Buffalo Plaid. Yeah, of course, Buffalo Plaid. I love Buffalo Plaid. Hi, hi Tina. Hi, Danette. How are you? Um, Cheryl says star glasses. Oh, that would be really fun. The star glasses would be really fun on there. So we, do you think with the, with the yellow or gold, I can pull, I can find gold in there. Um, hi Deb, my sister. Hi Tony. Hi Karen Ross. Um, uh, yeah, definitely we will pray for you. What's going on girlfriend? Hope, hope you're doing okay. Hey Julie, good morning. <laughs> Cindy says you go for it. I, I, yeah, I say go for it too. Yeah, I should do it. For sure, for sure. Thanks for all the prayers for her. I know. Um, sometimes we just need prayers. Hi, Janine. How are you? Hi, Doris, my sister. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Georgia. Hi, Cindy. Okay, so today is launch day, which means that at... <clears throat> Don't fail me now, boys. At 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, 9 o'clock mountain time, 10 o'clock central 11 o'clock Eastern time, you'll be able to order from the new launch. Okay. So let me put the link here. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's available before I'm even done. <laughs> I know. I love the piggy. <laughs> Hi, Cindy and Sandy and Deborah. Good morning. We love, we love the piggy wiggy, huh? We just love the pig. Let me put the, the, um, thing here. If you're not a Perks member, you're going to want to join. You can join this morning. You can join first thing and you'll get your, your, um, $20 in um, design dollars right away. Okay, there's the link to where you're going to go. Okay, there's my website. So there's where you can order all this goodness. So you can order this transfer. There's the lemon transfers. There's the cow transfer. All the stuff that I showed you last week. So you've already seen all that great, awesome stuff. Let me just show you one of my favorite, favorite things that um, you guys need to make sure you get. <laughs> Let me go to my photo library here. Okay, where where are you? Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. All right, so let's see if I can find it right away. I love the ice cream ones too. Those are fun. Like if you have a little ice cream area, the lemon one. Okay, so we're gonna definitely do this. So um, we're gonna do this one. I have I have this already cut out. Okay, so I have that one already cut out. Okay, that that's this frame. So it's shown the frame, but but the lemon, the lemon, um, it's a size B, and there is there's another part on it. I have it already cut out. I had it in case I in case this didn't take me that long that I'm talking so much. <laughs> All right, let's get started with it. Good morning, guys. If you're out there watching, just say hello. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just put hashtag replay. Replay is always here, and I do try to upload to YouTube. I I need to. Um, upload the last couple of ones. What happens is the problem when I don't go through Switcher Studios, it's not as easy for me to upload to YouTube. So I'm behind two videos. <laughs> and yesterday was just crazy driving home. You know, I always think, oh, it's going to be a breeze driving home. No, it really wasn't. <laughs> it's It still took a lot of time driving home. Okay, let's do this. This is going to be so fun. So we have the little piggy wiggy. And um, let me just go like that way, put myself up in the corner. My, my camera is a little crooked. I'm going to try to even it out 
but let's try to put Darlene in the corner. There we go. Okay, let me try to even, maybe, maybe I don't need to. Let me just go out a little bit so you can see everything but not my messes. <laughs> All right, so the frame. Okay, I think we need to ink the frame a little bit, just kind of grunge it up. We're gonna do buffalo plot on this. Um, we're gonna paint. We're gonna paint the, the piggy. Let's do buffalo plot on this to get it done and let it be drying and all of that. So we'll do that first, and then we're gonna then we'll paint the pig. We'll we'll distress this a little bit. This pig is gonna be so cute, so cute. So I have the cutouts for the pig. So so there's our piggy. And then um, Cheryl said I should do the star glasses. That will be really cute. So either glasses, I'll, I'll probably chalk them both so you can see both. So um, I'll paint the, paint the pig. You always have to paint the wood. You don't just chalk directly onto the wood. It, it doesn't, it's not very good to do that. It doesn't work very good. So anyways, if you're out there watching, just say hello. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just put hashtag replay. I have some buffalo plaid here. Um, a lot of you guys have buffalo plaid. So I'm going to just, I'm going to try to do this the easy way, guys. <laughs> Let's do this the easy way. So let me just peel this up and lay it down onto here. Let's see if I can do that. And then, then I just fold it back up. Okay. Let me just see if I can get it laid on here. It may not, I may not be able to do it evenly that way. I'm going to try to get it so that it's centered. Um... All right, right like that. Okay, okay, so I'm doing it on the white side. Now I'm just gonna flip this up. <laughs> so I was just trying to do it the easy way rather than trying to have a great big old, great big transfer. Guess what, it's not even. I'm not even, look at that, it's not, it's not even. Let me turn it, maybe if I turn it, it'll be easier. Okay, let's try it again. See how it's not even? It needs to be more it needs to be more even than that maybe if I just lift this up and move this just slightly <laughs> oh there there we go okay so I'm gonna get it even on here do you see what I'm doing and then I'm gonna just press it down hopefully 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 okay I'm trying I'm trying to center it on there we go and then Okay, you know what? It's not it's not centered this way. I'm trying to center the pattern and I'm not happy with how the pattern is on there yet. Let's try it again. <laughs> it has to be better than that. It has to be better than that. Okay, so let's see. Let's go over a little bit. Let's go, let's go like this and see how that goes. Okay. No, not quite. A little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> I know. Am I being too picky? A little bit further back. Right there. Um, if it's close, we're going with it. Okay, if it's close. Okay, we're going to go with that. <laughs> I think I think it's really close. It's barely, barely off. No one's going to know, right? You don't, you're not going to tell anybody, right? <laughs> Hey Lynn, how are you? Yes, launch is gonna take place. So if you're a purse member, you're gonna get 30% off everything. If you're a if you are a designer, you're gonna get 40% off everything. And if you're a designer, you're gonna also get that. Um, and you're a new designer. Sorry, if you're a new designer, why do I want to try to fix that? <laughs> just do it. Just do it, Darlene. No one's gonna know. Um, if you're a brand new designer, you probably have the um look at this, I think I need to add water. Let me see. There's not, I don't know if there's going to be enough in here. If you're a brand new designer, then you have that 15% off coupon if you're brand, brand new. And so you'll get 55% off. So some of you guys that are brand new that's not just signed up as a designer, you're going to get 55% off. Okay, I think I might have enough, but guys, I'm a little worried about this. I do have a brand new jar somewhere. Where, oh, where is my brand new jar? <laughs> somewhere I actually have more so let me just look let me look and see I don't think that's gonna be enough okay here's and here's another jar look at I love this so much that it's almost gone okay that one's almost gone too <laughs> is this funny that I love I love the eggshell so much 
that all of my jars are almost gone. Okay, I probably have more in there. Okay, let's just get some out there and start. Okay, I probably am going to have to chalk and peel, chalk and peel, because this is a big area. So let's get out here what we can, and let's start with it. There's some that's dried on this side. I'm not going to try to add that back in and, and reconstitute that. Let's just start, and we'll probably have to chalk and peel, chalk and peel. So let's start at the top and just get some of this going. We'll figure it out. I know I have more jars in there. <laughs> If you're out there watching this crazy hot mess Tuesday, just say hello. If you're not a designer, I would love if you would sprinkle. Sprinkle is when you S-H-A-R-E the, the video. You, you share with your friends that love crafting or to your page. If you are a crafter and you love doing this stuff, um, just keep following because I do different projects every day. Sometimes I do chocolate tour, sometimes I do wood. Okay, I'm going to peel in a second because I'm going to have to peel. It's going to be chalk and peel, chalk and peel, guys. Let me just get down a little bit more, trying to get as much of this on here, use it as possible, trying to get about half of this done. But, and it doesn't have to be perfect because remember, this is kind of going to be farmhouse. Okay, so I'm going to peel this up. Let me just peel up and then we're going to continue. Look at that. Look how cute that is. Look how adorable. I love buffalo plaid. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's keep going. Let's grab the other jar. <laughs> you know how much I love this. Hi, Judy Kirk. We're doing a pig this morning. You know I love farmhouse. But you know I, you know I love buffalo plaid too. Love my buffalo plaid. I'm going to use every little bit out of these jars. I just know it. I just know it. All right, so standing up so that I can try to get this done. I'm going to try to get the whole rest of this done. You want to work quickly, and you also want to make sure that it's not drying on there. So if it looks like it's starting to dry, then I need to peel that up. Okay, so you don't let your chalk paste dry on the transfer and then peel it. No, you don't. You work quickly and you peel it before it is dry. Okay, I'm almost there. Almost there. And then we'll let this sit. We'll paint our pig and we'll chalk our pig. And then we'll chalk the words on this in black. Okay, let me squeegee this off. Guess what? There's some extra. I can take this right off. Okay, and then let's peel this up and let's see what we got. What we got, guys. It looks really good. It's looking so cute. Okay, I'm just going to go to this side here, um, just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect either, but look at it. looks so perfect. It looks perfect. Okay, I'm just going to slide that out and take this away. Okay, so see how I did that? I just left that whole thing on there. <laughs> I think I probably do still have some of these. If anybody needs one, let me know. I'm going to just plop it on the floor. I'll wash that. But look at how cute this is. I love buffalo plaid. Hi, Sylvia. How are you? Hi, Stacy. Um, thanks for sprinkling, Laura. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, let's put this up here. Um, we need to paint our pig. So I'm just going to pull in a small board. I probably should dry that. Huh? Okay, let me, let me get one of these out of the way. I'll tell you. I hope I have some other eggshell um, jars in there. I had about four. <laughs> I did. Honestly, I had about four jars of eggshell because I love it so much. Let's dry that chalk paste so I don't accidentally touch it and then I'll cry, right? So let's just dry it. You got your club yesterday with your new squeegee. That's awesome. I love it. I love the new squeegee, the orange one. Yep. So that is the squeegee of the year. So when you're in the club, when you hit your year mark, you get that. As a designer, I think as a designer we get that too. I think that's I think it's a designer or club. Look at how cute this is. I love this. The plaid is just adorable. I'm just drawing it so that I don't touch it. <laughs> so I got so many fun things painted this weekend. And guess what? I had to take my truck in. My truck started acting up on the on the drive up there. My truck is in the shop. I hope, I hope it's not too expensive. I don't have a, so it's been paid off for a while and the extended warranty um, expired last year. Yeah, of course it did. Of course it did. So and my husband's like, you should have brought it in, in earlier. 
<laughs> of course he's going to say that. Of course he is. Okay, so Piggy Wiggy, we're going to paint pig color. We're going to paint these white because that's going to be the background color. Um, you told your husband you need a new sink without the divider in it, so it's easy to watch the big transfer. Yes, exactly. I know for sure. <laughs> hey, Christy, how are you? Catching a few minutes before the rear meeting. Awesome. We're doing the pig transfer. It's going to be so cute. <laughs> so pretty much um, he's chalked in black. Okay, so all the details are in black. And the word, the words, I'm going to do the words in black. Um, the glasses, I, I have, um, I'll do yellow for the, for the, um, star ones. I'll do my, my, um, pucker and then I'll do red for the other glasses, but we have to base coat it first. Okay. So piggy wiggy, um, <laughs> cause Stephanie says you told this name. I have a sink like that. I have a great big sink. Hi, hi, Chris. How are you? Good morning. Yeah. I made cutouts. Yes. Yes. I have cutouts. So, um, so I have pig cutouts that I haven't posted them yet. Uh, <laughs> forgive me for that. I actually fell asleep. I, I was a little tired yesterday. I came home. Like I said, I immediately started working. This is, um, this color is Coral Cloud. I don't know if it's still available. Pick out a color that is really, really close to a pig color. This is a good pig color. I don't even know if they still have it, but Coral Cloud is a great color for a pig. Any of those colors in that in that family would work. And if you're not happy with the color, you can kind of tweak it in. You can mix your colors. Just like we mix other colors, you can mix, you can mix all your all your paint colors. This is just acrylic paint. It's um Americana. So Deco Art Americana brand. Okay, so got my pig covered. Now I'm gonna do white for for the glasses, and then we will. Sorry, having a problem with my paper towel. <laughs> We're going to do white for the glasses and then we'll, we'll dry this and we'll chalk it and we'll chalk the words on our little buffalo plaid over there. And we're going to, we're going to kind of ink the, um, the frame. We're going to kind of grunge up the frame. I love, I love this beta frame. So this is available today too. Okay. So this is, this is new. You have a pink rescue in town. Oh my gosh, that would be so fun. Oh yeah. You definitely need to make stuff for it. You need to do that for sure. Yeah, pig rescue. Aw. I wish I could I wish I could make oinky noises like a pig. <laughs> I can't. I'm thinking of a donkey though. That a donkey noise came to mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the pig rescue, is that just so for people that got a pig and thought that, oh, I want to have a pet pig and and then the pig started to grow and they're like, oh, I don't think I don't think I like this idea. And then the pig just has no home because people, people just don't, they don't, they don't know the commitment. <laughs> they don't know the commitment. Pigs, pigs are off white color. Oh, not this pig. This pig, this pig is, um, this pig is this color. All my pigs are always this color. <laughs> so it dep depends on what pig you want to my, my piggies, when I, when I do my farmhouse pigs, I always use a color like this. Yeah, you, you can, you can use off-white if you want, for sure. But my pigs, when I do farmhouse, I always do a, a pretty little coral color like this. So, funny story, we've lived in three houses on the street. First was a rental, and the next was a house that we bought across the street, up, up the hill from where we are now. And um, they had a pig. They previously had a pig at that house. And so one of the bedrooms was his bedroom. And we had to bleach the floors because they just let him go in there and poop and pee and all that stuff. But that pig would wander around the neighborhood. And he would bite people on the ankles. He was, he was not a nice little piggy. Um, I, I kept thinking this little piggy needs to go to market, <laughs> a pinkish coral. Yeah. I think it depends. Like it, it depends on the pigs. Yeah. There's, there's different types of pigs. <laughs> Your aunt and uncle used to have a pig farm when you were growing up in this. Oh my gosh, Cheryl, that's awesome. So, so when I, when I moved to Idaho, my, the year after my, ninth grade year. So I was in Utah and I went to junior high there. And then our junior high was, was six, was, um, seventh, eighth, ninth. 
Okay, so I'm just cutting this apart. There's not cut lines, but I have to cut it apart. So I think I can leave these. I think those will be fine. Um, so I'll have the words, and then we'll have our little piggy wiggy. Anyways, so um, we we lived in a little farmhouse in Idaho. Got to do the pig first because it is it is a pig deal. <laughs> it is a pig deal. So we lived in a farmhouse, and all of our scraps um, from dinner. Everything went out to the the farmer's pig, and and I remember one time when when they had little tiny pigs, and oh those those piglets are just the cutest. But the mama the mama pigs can be mean. They can be really mean. Okay, I I'm not gonna fuzz this um on the wood. What what I will do is I'll fuzz the other transfer when I put it onto the buffalo plaid. Okay, so this is just gonna be centered on here. It just fits right on there. So I made just a little bit of a margin. So I'm just trying to line it up. It's pretty easy to line it up because it's see-through. And for, for the most part, yes, people want them as a house pig. And they don't say little. Yeah, exactly. They're a huge commitment. Um, they have people turn pig, pigs over to them. Um, oh, gosh, they rehab and fix them. Oh, my gosh, and they do adoptions. Aww. Pig, pigs are really adorable. They really are. Let me get Let me get a little... Spoon, stir stick, whatever. Let me get a stir stick. Okay, I'm gonna plop some some black on here. I cannot wait to see this pig. It's going to be adorable. There's a lot of detail on here too. So, but but this chalk piece goes a long ways. And my chalk piece, my black is pretty new. It's nice and creamy. You always want to make sure that your chalk paste is the right consistency. If it's too thick, it's gonna be a problem. Okay, so make sure you grab this, and then I'm going to add these cutouts to my my shop. I wanted to be able to take a picture. You can do this on the frame. You can do this on a piece of wood. I might just go ahead and do a, cut a piece of wood that size. So if you guys want to just do a sign, and I'll just... Um, I, we actually have wood that size that available. So what I'll do is I'll just find that listing and... It just has holes in it. So if you don't want to do it in a frame, you can just do it with on, on, with wood. You can just do it on wood. You can do this on any surface. I think this would be going to be cute on a t-shirt. I ordered some more shirts because I was looking for, it always happens to me, people say, can you give me the link for the shirt that you just made? And so I look and then I'm like, oh, I can't find that one, but I found this one and I better order some more because I don't have any, have any more. Are you ready? Are you ready for this reveal? Here we go. Should I go in closer? Let's go closer. Let's go closer for the for the reveal. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this, guys. Check this out. Check this out. I'm going to put my thumb right there to hold it. Look at how adorable this pig is. Oh my gosh. This pig is amazing. Look at all the detail. So cute. Just plop this on here. You can reuse this. You're going to wash that. Just going to plop it on the back of the sheet. Um, so you're going to know which side to put it on. Don't put it on the yellow side. The yellow side is the wrong side. Okay, I'm going to plop that down on the floor onto my buffalo plaid. Look at how cute he is. He is adorable. I love that. I'm loving that. Yeah, it'd be really cute on a shirt, for sure. Friend has three pigs as house pets. Oh my gosh, and your sister has pigs on her ranch. Full size and mini. Oh my gosh, how fun, guys. I love pigs. I think they're adorable. Okay, so we're going to do red for the top glasses, and we're going to do um, yellow for the bottom. So I just pulled out candy apple red. I actually like, I like cherry red better, but candy apple red will be just fine for me. <laughs> Isn't he so sweet? He is adorable. He's adorable. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let's just line up both sets of glasses. We can, we can get both sets lined up so we can just do it. You don't have to do them different colors. Just do the entire thing one color. That's what I'm doing. It's easier. Okay, so that's lined up. There isn't a big margin. I didn't put a big margin because I didn't want it to be really big on his on his face. Okay, so it's it just fits perfectly on there. Now the stars have a little bit more because it was harder to get around them. Um, there we go. Okay, so top is going to be red and bottom is going to be yellow. I think I can just do both at the same time and then peel. Okay, so grab my chalk paste. And let's get going. If you can butter toast, guys, you can do this. Okay, so this, this is one of my most favorite transfers in the whole collection. I do like the, I like the Highland Cow. 
and we will be doing that. We'll be doing the cow and we'll be doing the lemon stuff. We'll be doing the coffee stuff. You know, we'll do the coffee stuff, but I thought this is so fun. We're going to do this one first. <laughs> we're picking this one first. Okay, let's let's go ahead and let's do our pucker and then we'll then we'll peel. I should have done pucker first because shimmer doesn't dry as quickly. If it looks like it's drying, I'm gonna peel that up in a heartbeat. Okay. So pretty easy, easy squeezy, <laughs> easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, so pucker is the great color for the stars. Gold would be good too. If you don't have pucker you can use gold for some reason there's like a little bit of black in there it must just been on the squeegee I don't know <laughs> but there is a little bit of black on my let me see if I can lay it down and fix that there's a little bit of black right there kind of weird must have been on my squeegee okay let's peel we're appealing we're appealing we need to peel it's time it is time look at how cute those are Super cute. I love it. I love it. Okay, like I said, you can reuse these um, transfers. I'm going to put that there. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's dry this stuff. And then we're going to chalk the words on the other part. But let's dry this first because I'm afraid that I'm going to make a big old mess. And then we do need to ink that, um, the, the frame a little bit. So let's dry this. I don't want to blow them away and have them flip over. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm putting my hand there to grab them just in case. <laughs> Prayers for the people traveling to, and yes, we do have some of our people traveling to Malawi that are heading out today. They're going to be meeting up in Chicago and then going over to Malawi. I am, I can't wait to see their, all their stuff. I really can't wait to see. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to glue the star ones on or not. I'm kind of thinking that the red ones are speaking to me more. I love the stars, but on this farmhouse, I'm kind of thinking uh, the red is going to be better for me. Or no glasses at all. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's, um, I think it, I think they're super cute. Okay, and you could make it removable if you wanted to. We, we do have to, we do kind of have to figure out how this is going to go. I think this needs to go at the top like that. Okay. So, um, and it's all the way dry. This is going to go down here like this. Hi, Denise. How are you? <laughs> yes. Watch, watch the, watch the replay. I have piggy. I have piggy cutouts. Okay. So I think that's just going to be centered like that. So, I don't think that I should do the stars in yellow. And here's the reason that it's not going to show up as well on here. Doing all of this in black is going to actually be the best. So I want to go ahead and I want to do this right now. I want to, before I, before we do anything else, I'm going to just fold my corner under. Now, just know that sometimes when you go over Buffalo plaid, it can, it can um, leave a little bit of ridges. But I think we're going to be okay. I'm trying to just center it. Um, okay. All right. I'm really excited for the people going to Malawi because they're going to a different area. They're actually going to go and work with the child brides. I'm, I'm kind of jealous about that. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. Both, both Tracy and I have some health issues going on. I, I was supposed to be having my surgery this month and she's got some things going on with her and it's it we were actually God, God knew that he we we know that our names were not chosen to go because we need to take care of ourselves right now so both of us needed to have things done um she had she had really bad allergies going on and other things going on and now um Tracy, Tracy's got some other challenges from her results from her mammogram so um please say some prayers for Tracy Wagner she's a very sweet friend of mine we will always have Malawi. We will always have Africa and peeing, a, peeing in a hole. <laughs> we will always have that. So, okay, now I'm going to peel up slowly and let's make sure I got everything. Okay, so, so it kind of bled out a little bit. It's because of, yeah, it bled out a lot, guys. It bled out a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's because of the plaid, the buffalo plaid. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So now I'm wishing that I had this cut out. Um, let me do something. Let me look for some 
um, I'm not so happy with that. It's because it's because of the buffalo plaid. All right, so um, yeah, maybe the glasses don't need to be on here. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that too. Okay, so I need to do something. I need to get some paper. I need to find. <laughs> I need, I'm not happy with this. Look at that. So it's be, it's because of the plaid. Okay, so I need to fix that. Hang on a second. Let me find let me find some paper, some of our. Uh, let me find it. Let me find it. I think I have some over here. Hang on. <laughs> oh my goodness. I do. I have. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to put it on our chalk suede. Okay. So I'm not happy with that. We're going to chalk it on chalk suede and cut it out. Okay. So, so because of the bumps, the words didn't come out nicely, but guess what, guys? We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it, and we're gonna put it on here. We're gonna put it on chalk suede. So what we have to do, and I'm paying attention to time, we have to we have to watch the transfer first, and then we'll chalk on the chalk suede, okay? So let's watch the transfer, and then we're going to have a take two, all right? So I knew that sometimes, sometimes it will do like that. And I'm kind of glad it did in front of you guys. I need some water. <laughs> because then I can show you how to fix it. We're going to take some chalk sleeve and we're going to go over the top of it. And we're going to we're going to put like a little sign there. So maybe what I need to do is now that I'm looking at that, I need to make that cut out for you guys. So, I'm going to go back to the drawing board and I'm going to cut out the chalk suede. No, I'm going to cut out the shape out of wood for you guys. Okay. So I haven't posted this yet. I'll cut the shape out for the words. I'll cut it out of, out, out of wood. Okay. What do you think of that? So then, then you can chalk on the wood. So I'm going to use chalk suede because I can't run back there and, and cut it out with my laser right now, but just pretend, pretend that it's going to be cut out with wood. So we're going to use our chalk suede. <laughs> And I'm just getting it clean. Okay, so need to clean that transfer. And we'll reuse it. Sometimes we need to see these things. Sometimes you need to see that Darlene fails. Okay, um, not everything that I do works the first time, but I never give up, and I always figure out what do I need to do. Okay, so so when I have some an oopsie like this, an oopsie like oh no. It doesn't look good. <laughs> what are we going to do? Whatever will we do? We are going to make our lemonade. Literally. We're going to make our lemonade. We're going to wash the transfer. We're going to redo it on chalk suede and put it over the top of it. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. And, and I will need to, I do need to um, get some more of my little things that you attach it with. I, what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll use my hot glue um, and a couple of the little attachment things. So we'll use both. Okay. All right. So let me dry this and we'll try this again. <laughs> you know what guys? Um, it doesn't always turn out the way you think it's going to turn out. You know, Som sometimes you have an oopsie and that's okay. It's okay to say, it's, it's okay to mess up. Okay. It really is. It really is okay to mess up. It's because none of us are perfect. I, me included, I chalk or paint every day and I still have oopsies like that. <laughs> so this is what happened, guys. I'm going to give you a close-up. So that's what happened. It, it blurred out because of the, the um, texture of this. Okay, so we're going to chalk on chalk suede. All right, but I'm going to cut this out of wood for you guys. So I'm going to fuzz on my t-shirt a bunch because it's going to stick really tightly to this. Um, yeah, if you sanded it, you could probably could, but, um, if I sanded it, it might make a big mess, but anyways, I'm going to, I am just going to, yeah, you could sand it. There's people that have, but then you, then you might risk sanding off some of that cute design. Okay. So I fuzzed on my t-shirt. I'm going to lay this down onto my chalk suede. I want to make sure there's enough room around it to kind of fussy cut Fussy cut is just kind of cutting around the outside. Okay, so I'm gonna do it in black, just like we did before. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do the stars in black also. We're just gonna do it all in black. And then we'll dry it 
and we will cut around it and we'll put it on there. Okay, so sometimes that happens, but you know what? Make your lemonade. <laughs> Don't let life get you down. You know, things are going to happen. Um, we're not going to, I'm not going to be perfect. I don't, I don't do a sample of this. In the very beginning, if it was something new, I would do a sample first to make sure it worked. I don't. Every single day when I come on here, I am winging it. <laughs> I am asking you what colors I should do. I am trying things for the very first time right in front of you. And if I fail, it's okay because we'll figure it out. Okay, so now I'm going to peel this up. Now remember, it's going to be kind of tight on there, but I did fuzz it so that helped it a lot. Okay, just peel up slowly so it doesn't splatter. Kind of a pig deal. It kind of is a pig deal. <laughs> okay, here's my backer sheet. I'll put it over here. I'll wash that and I can reuse that. We'll do this on a t-shirt. It's going to be super cute. Um, you know you don't like wax, but wax would not have helped um, on that surface. So wax wouldn't have helped on here because of the texture. So it is, it's really, the texture is pretty thick. So putting wax on there. Um, wax, wax helps so it doesn't stick, but, but wax wouldn't have helped that part. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and dry, and then we're going to cut this out. Okay, let me dry up here. Let me dry where we're going to be putting that. <laughs> uh, the reason I don't like wax is because here in California, when I'm at a craft show and it's hot outside, I, when I would have my stuff on the front porch at the craft show and it would get to be 115, Anything with wax on it started looking all shiny again. So that is the reason why I don't like wax is because it makes it look shiny. So, all right. It's, it dries up pretty quickly. And then we're gonna start cutting. All right, so I, I will cut this out. I'll cut, I'll cut the shape out for you guys um, out of wood. But today, right now, we're gonna we're gonna cut this out with our scissors. So I usually I'll just do a rough cut around it, and I don't think I have any teeny tiny scissors. So I'm just gonna be using my chocolate scissors and going around this and kind of making um, a little outline. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. We are just we're just making it work. Okay, so when I do it, the shape is just gonna kind of roughly be an outline. Um, I do backwards cut because I'm left-handed and have my my little handicap there. <laughs> so sometimes it's easier for me being left-handed to because I can see exactly where I'm supposed to cut. Okay, and then let's cut some of that off. I usually will just cut an area and then I will go back and I'll cut off a little bit. And I'm just going to get down close to there and then go in like that. So it doesn't have to be a perfect rectangle. It, I'm just kind of cutting around the words, just roughly cutting around the words and the stars, okay? All right, so that's what I'm doing. You don't like wax either? Yeah, I, I, I am not, I just am not one of those people that likes to use wax. Some people do, and that's fine, but in my area, it just gets too hot and it, and it gets glossy again. And that just is not, I might use, I'm honestly, I might use wax when I'm doing a project um, that I'm thinking that I need to do. I might, I might use it, but I'm not going to like it. Okay. How's that? I think that's pretty cute. I think I'm just going to round off this little corner down here. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Okay. So remember what I said, let me just go out a little bit um, about the frame. Okay, so the frame, I want to add a little bit of, see, this is just going to go right over this. No one's even going to know that we made a mistake. And don't you tell them. See, no one's going to know. <laughs> Let me plug in my hot glue gun too, because I'm going to need that. We're going to do some distressing. Oh, I did plug it in. Either that, yeah, I did plug it in, huh? Or it's been plugged in the whole time. Um, it's going to be so cute on a shirt. <laughs> That's so cute on the shirt. Okay, guys, I want to kind of make my frame be a little bit more rustic. So I'm just going to take my ink pad. I don't, I just don't want it to be completely bright white. Okay, so I'm going to just take my ink pad and run over the top and the sides, the inside, the outside. Not a lot. Just kind of running along it, just giving it a little bit of color. 
All right, so this is going to be available today. Um, launch pro usually happens pretty much on time or a little bit early. So um, 8 o'clock my time is when we're going to start looking for everything. 8 o'clock Pacific time, 9 o'clock Mountain, 10 o'clock Central, 11 o'clock Eastern time. Okay, so, so that's probably pretty good right there. That is pretty good. All right, so just getting the corners a little bit. So so that's all I did. I just kind of grunged it up a little bit. We'll do the cow one like that too, because we're going to do matching ones. And I bet the same person buys them at my show. So let me just look at it one more time. Let me just go around it. Just kind of even it out a little bit. Need some more up there in the corner. Okay, looks good, looks good, guys. <laughs> It looks good. There we go. All right. So well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the backer in. So like I said, you could have done black on the other side. You could have just done black. Okay. But I wanted to be able to do a pattern. Hi, Karen West. How are you? You're thinking t-shirts for FFA. Absolutely. Absolutely. Actually, it looks better with the cutout. I kind of think so too. So um, if you get to use wax most of the time. Yes. Yeah. I don't, I don't like using the wax, but some people use it religiously. That's okay. Um, everybody's different. So I, I always say, you know what, do what's best for you. Okay. So we're just putting this in here. So, so you could wash that off and you could reuse it, but I won't because I will be selling this. So this frame is available today as well as the cute little transfer. And then I will add the cutouts. What I'll do is I'll go and I'll cut this out like this. And it's going to be right there. Piggy's going to be right here. I kind of, I don't know if I, should I put glasses on or not? What do you guys think? I'm not sure for my craft show if I should put glasses on. So I'm kind of thinking, honestly, I'm I'm a hundred I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm going I'm thinking more of the red if I do. What do you guys think? Okay, so I have I have only a couple of these little things to attach this with because I used I used a bunch the other day. I forgot to bring more in. Um anyways, so I'm gonna attach this with with these little things. What I what I can do is I can add more, but I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue. So I'm just going to, these are just the little foam things from the Dollar Tree. I'm kind of thinking, um, no, no glasses. Yeah, I could do that. I could do no glasses and then have them there in case somebody wants them. Yeah, I could definitely do it. I love the glasses, but yeah, I'm kind of thinking that for my craft show, probably better without, okay, I just put two of the little foam things at the, at the top. And then I actually am not going to add hot glue to this because I'm thinking it would mess it up. I could, I can slide some other little, I'll just slide some more of those things under there. Um, but for right now, we're going to do this. I'll and I'll do the same with this. I'll put this in place, but then I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a couple more. But I'll put them in place so I can show you guys. Okay. And so just remember, if you're a Perks member, you're going to get 30% off everything that is launching today. Yay. And there is some chalk paste coming. There's a couple of... There's a couple of new colors. There's shimmer watermelon. There's shimmer couture teal and gray just coming back. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that up when I'm all done. I'll pull that up and I'll put more underneath, and then I'll be cutting that out of wood for you guys. So so there we go. I think he's super cute, loving it. So what I think I'll do is I'll just have the glasses available and say, hey, if you want the glasses, you can add it. We have a lot of farm people around here. Um, we actually have a we have a chicken farm just down the street from me, um, and there are there's so many people FFA that are raising their their pigs and cows. <laughs> I think he's adorable too. All right, let me just put myself up here, and there we go. All right, I love it. I love it. I think I love the plaid. So I will do the cow with red plaid in the background. <laughs> I, I'll, yeah, I think the cow with red plaid in the background will be super fun. And then we'll have a matching pair because I have another one of these. I'm going to order some more of these today. That, that's going to be on my order is some more of these little, the beaded frames. <laughs> All right, guys. 
thanks for being here. This was a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys being here. It's my favorite time of the day. Make sure that you check out the launch as soon as it launches. Uh, we do believe that that today that that pucker will be gone because everybody's going to be adding it to their launch order. So if you want if you want the shimmer yellow that is just gorgeous and looks like it should smell like lemons. <laughs> it looks like it should smell like lemons. Make sure you add that to your order. So you just have to have an order of 75 or more when you're a customer. If your designer is $45 and then you can add your jar. So thank you guys for being here. This was a lot of fun. I love him. Yeah, so the cat so the cow will be next. Taco Tour has the cow cutouts, um, has the cow cutout, but um I'll do like the, the bandana part. I can't wait. I'm hoping it will fit in there and look just as cute. <laughs> so excited for it. So if you want those transfers today, make sure you grab them. I do have a few extra. Um, I do have a few extra transfers. I did order, I ordered 10. I didn't order a lot. So I do have a few that I can make into kits, but I don't have extra of the frame because, you know, I don't know how many to have on hand. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. I will see you guys later. Bye.